Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Beyond Light, still season of the Splicer, but almost season 15 Intel. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how anybody, even a solo player, can farm out a bunch of spoils of conquest each week as we are heading towards the end of the season. There's gonna be some new super meta exotics next season that I'm sure everybody's gonna want, and most of them are available from the tower kiosk, but of course you're gonna need some spoils. With that, I'll also be discussing a AFK glitch that you should probably know heading into next season if you ever need some extra mats or XP, as we will be completely reset, so to get up to the max level as quickly as possible, you're gonna wanna know that. But before we get to all that information, I just want to remind everybody, I'm still doing the giveaway on my YouTube channel. The next one will be at 50,000 subscribers. All you have to do to be entered into that giveaway is like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on all the post notifications, the bell that's right next to the big red subscribe button, and follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. And as always, if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll have that secret hashtag you can leave in the comments section to be entered into that giveaway a second time for this video. And remember, those secret hashtags, they stack between all videos. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, why not go back, check out another video, and of course, do it again. So as you can see, I am currently glitching into the Last Wish raid. This can be done by anybody, and it is probably one of the most fun glitches currently still circulating in Destiny. I don't think this is ever gonna be patched. At least it hasn't for, well, over two years now. What we're gonna be doing is glitching into the Kali encounter. Maybe you've seen me talk about this before, but I always wanna remind everyone that it's still active, and this will allow anyone to solo Kali. You can do this on all three characters each week as jumping into this encounter, or at least getting out of the map, is fairly doable on all classes. You just load into the last wish, as you saw me doing. If you need uh, another just visual of the route, don't be afraid to sort of rewind the video at this point. But from the very start, you simply jump out of the wall to the right at the beginning of the door, right at the start of the encounter, or start of the raid, excuse me. And then follow this route outside of the map. I would say bring some stasis with you, because if you are on anything other than a warlock, you're probably gonna want at least something that can glue to the walls and give you an extra little boost across some of these gaps. But then just make your way underneath a couple of these platforms and over to this section where you kinda have to jump out and back in uh, to get on an invisible wall, but slowly just make your way up to this sort of diamond-shaped rock. It doesn't take that long. The great thing about this particular glitch is once you actually make it to the Kali encounter, which you'll see me do in a moment, you won't actually ever have to worry about dying. That's the reason that anybody can solo this at any real difficulty or any light. Because the wipe encounters don't, or the wipe mechanics don't actually count and you don't have to worry about dying to any of the ads. You can rally the banner, and all you have to do at this point is just wear Kali down. Start the encounter, she'll warp around, do the things that she normally does if you were doing this fully legit, but you can just wear down the boss, die as much as you want, all the boss damage will be retained, and once this is done, you will get uh, three spoils of conquest. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot, I know, and it can take a little while to do this absolutely solo, but if you bring a couple of friends with you, you can probably complete this encounter, even with the white mechanics going off every few seconds, um, within five minutes. If you're solo, I've done it within 15 minutes. You can do this on all three characters, thus getting an extra nine spoils of conquest every single week, and slowly making your way towards those exotics in the tower kiosk. The next thing you can do, of course, is glitch into the Vault of Glass by using a Sparrow glitch and sort of wedging it under this particular rock, which can be found to the right of the original room or the first plate section of the raid. It's not really a room, it's outside, but to the right of the plates before the first door. You can glitch in and get the first secret chest, which 
will reward you five spoils of conquest per character. You can do this on all three characters. The route I'm taking here is uh, fairly easy to do on all three. Um, there are some easier routes that you might be able to find if you do another search uh, on this channel because I have covered all of them. But this is just the easiest one. You can make your way around and then over to a load zone which remember to bring something with you as far as either a rocket or a grenade launcher that will allow you to um, blow yourself up once you hit that load zone because then I'll, that'll teleport you back inside of the map. You'll make your way across this gap and then over into this load zone. Just sort of go towards the lit up sections here and get in that to get that first secret chest. That again will reward you five per character, so that's an extra 15 that you can get every single week. Some people like to just jump off the map before they actually land. I actually land and then just blow myself up here. I find that that is a little bit more of an effective way of getting back inside the map as sometimes I've fallen directly off the ledge and then ended up still spawning either outside the map or uh, at a place I didn't really want to be. Um, so if you just wedge yourself into this little gap, you can kind of know it by the uh, blue background behind you. As I said, remember to bring something that will blow you up. I used a grenade launcher, but I was waiting a little too long. There is ways to get actually the second and third chest from the Volt of Glass. Um, I have covered that also in previous videos, but I will say it's a lot more challenging. This almost anybody can do. It's really not that difficult uh, of a jumping puzzle and um, getting outside the map by using the Sparrow can take a little bit if you're on a console uh, because of the locked frame rate at 60 frames. If you're on PC, if you uh, bring your frames down to 30 frames, you should be able to get through on the first try. Uh, but just be persistent. Uh, make sure that you sort of use the uh, sparrow um, dart to the left while you get off of the sparrow and you'll be able to uh, get back into the map fairly easily. And then the last thing we're going to cover is a really fun AFK glitch. This is for the Shattered Throne Dungeon. Um, a way to get to the Endless Curse Thrall Room. This has been used for quite a while to farm out uh, uh, not only Glimmer, but also uh, XP, and during seasonal events, usually some of the seasonal loot, um, you can get stuff um, for the Loom if you're doing some transmog stuff this way. Maybe not something that you need to do this season, as like I said, we are getting fairly close to the end, and I'm sure um, most people aren't really concentrating on getting uh, as much power as they possibly can at this point if you don't already have it. I'm sure most people are just going for either gear and or uh, just trying to get some of the activities done. But of course, next season, like I said, all that stuff will be reset. Getting into the Curse Throw Room just by doing the dungeon is also always an option. You get to save a checkpoint for the entire week. But I find that a lot of people just like to get in for maybe a couple of hours once a week. Uh, and this will allow you to bypass the entire dungeon. And once you um, essentially glitch back into the dungeon, you won't have to worry about dying to anything and having any of your checkpoints reset or having to redo an encounter. So you just make your way through the first door like you saw me do, jump off that ledge. There's an invisible barrier here. Make sure you jump over that and fall straight down along this pillar. It's important to once you hit the pillar to fall straight down, otherwise you will hit a... Um, a checkpoint or a death zone that will teleport you back to the beginning but if you just fall straight down and then move off to the right as you see me doing here you will load into the next section you just die at this point you'll respawn in the next area and then once you're here you can just uh, make your way, not only there's a couple of secret chests that you can get this way, which reward um, now the upgraded Dreaming City loot, which is also good. Um, you can get to the Endless Curse Thrall Room. Uh, and once you're in there, you know, set up uh, the normal AFK, usually with a Titan, uh, and just um, 
use a endless emote and sometimes uh, people ask me what is an endless emote or a uh, looped emote is another way of referring to it. Uh, that is an emote that essentially does the exact same thing over and over again until you make it stop rather than something that just plays out like a series of uh, emotes. Um, this one just continually goes over and over again. Those will keep you from being uh, teleported back to orbit um, for at least 45 minutes. You can also, of course, um, download uh, some key bindings that will uh, allow you to stay in there longer, but uh, if you're on console, this is probably the best method to use. Again, 45 minutes isn't forever. But if you move at any point during that 45 minutes, it kind of resets the timer. So it at least lets you go and do some other things if you just want to leave a character in there for uh, at least some period of time and not have to focus on it constantly. So I'm just going to let the rest of this play out so you can actually see the whole route. Make sure to stick around till the end for that secret hashtag you can leave in the comments section. Thanks so much for watching as always, and we'll see you at the end. Thanks so much for watching all the way till the end of the video. If you've made it this far, please leave a hashtag beyond light or a hashtag season of the splicer or a hashtag season 15. Unfortunately, we don't know what the name of that will be in the comments section down below. And as always, I'm Wilhelm Scream. Of course, we will see you in the next video. Little.